All new at five, recruiting for high paying jobs that no one seems to want. The Orlando Iron Workers Union is ready to hire and to train the next generation of skilled trade workers. News 6 investigative reporter Mike Holfeld was invited behind the scenes to bring us the story. How would you describe the life of an iron worker? It is a hard, difficult job. You know, I've done 14, 15 hour days. It's not a nine to five, it's more of a, a lifestyle. Daniel Allinger is a third generation union man, a journeyman iron worker for nearly two decades now. Being in a union was something that was instilled in me very young. He started as an apprentice in Connecticut, and now a journeyman with Orlando Iron Workers Local 808. If you're willing to work and not afraid of heights, it's definitely something to look into. Aldinger is in his early 40s, a family man with financial security. And I got medical insurance, I have a pension, and an annuity. But he wonders about the next generation. We put the trades on the back burner. The average age of the tradesman is just kind of creeping up and up and up. Your average age of a welder, I think, is in the 40s or 50s these days. Jason Jagiri, like Aldinger, is in his 40s. A trade school is just as good as going to college. He tells News 6 he's seeing fewer men join the ranks of the paid apprentice program. In fact, the men on this crew are two of the last in line. The people that actually come out here and work in the field is a, is a dying breed. In the next 10 years, the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics projects America will need more than 16,000 iron workers. That's based on 9,000 additional iron workers, and more importantly, more than 7,000 on the job now expected to retire. So you're telling me you need more people? Oh, yes, everybody does. Bobby Nost is the union's business manager and architect of Local 808's push to hire new personnel. How many people can you bring in? Well, it's unlimited. You have to balance the work that you have and the contractors that you have, and you bring up the people to fill it. Part of that strategy? The lure of the union benefits package. Our worker is making a whole package of $44 an hour, $27.25 on their pocket, we call it on the hip, and then $16 worth of benefits. So money can so, be made. Oh, yes. The union is launching an all-out effort to recruit the next generation. Clearly, the jobs are there. The question is, will people respond? Mike Hofeld getting results, News 6.